here we go. God, give me the courage to do what is right. I'm a little bit scared, but I'm going to make you a promise. If either a collaboration or one person can donate to me £1,000, I will go to Israel like, you know, I could be could be done within a couple of days, a day even, I don't know about the visa situation. But I'm gonna make I'm making that promise. That if uh, if I can get the funds, I'll do it. I'll go to Israel, I'll take a little camera with me, video camera, vlog it. I'll go and stand on the Mount of Olives. I'll go into Palestinian territory, Israeli territory. If Jerusalem is the heart chakra of the world, then the fighting that's going on there isn't doing the world any good. The planet, our mother, So, if there's some truth to that, if there's truth in what I'm claiming about myself, about this body, then it's worth finding out. And um, so, if I've got any subs who've got money falling out of their ears <laughs> and you can't think of anything better to do with it, than to see the person claiming to be the Christ actually go to Jerusalem, stand on the Mount of Olives. I mean, I just heard on the news briefly a lot of shootings in there at the moment. And, you know, i just been sort of communicating with God and it sort of came about was I was sort of thinking about plans that I made you know I've got this plan how I'm editing my videos into succinct audios and they seem to be receiving well so I think I'll carry on with that you know my plan has an order so I've got the plan there's an order in which things should be done so I was thinking, well, with God's plan, God must have his order in which things will be done. Obviously, it's been verified by Mother. <laughs> um, and then, so, I thought about that. I was meditating and thought about God's order, and I felt this strong seriousness from God in the sense that sort of feelings I've had before when the realisation comes that I'm be forever within God. <laughs> you know, when you feel that it's quite it's quite uh, initially because it's different from what you've thought before. So initially there may be a initially there was claustrophobia and stuff like that, but also a pressure. In a sense, you know, we'll God will never go wrong with God. God will always hold us, hold us right. Anyway, so thinking about God's order of things, you know, and how we can try to do things too quickly, um, and therefore, because it's not within God's timing, we can fail, and then it's not right. Um, or we can hang around too long and not and not do it at the right time and potentially miss an opportunity and have to sort of do it double at another point. <laughs> so I suppose I just thought while I was explaining that, you know, this is me being typically rash again. I you know, I I had this thought about offering to make this promise about, you know, 
less than an hour ago. Um, probably even only half an hour ago. <laughs> so, but you know, when I feel, I feel something about it, I think it ought to be done. And in a sense, I can leave it a little bit to fate because it's kind of unlikely that someone is going to put forward the dosh. I mean, it's, I'm asking for a thousand pounds. I guess that should cover flight accommodation and food and in a sense maybe I should have a little bit more because you know of loss of earnings while I'm over there but if I'm only there four or five days or something like that I'm sure that you know I can be budget and then leave some money to make sure I don't go overdrawn because you know the reason I have to ask for the money is I just don't have any spare cash I've been living kind of right on the edge for quite a while and I've got used to it and God provides for me when I need it. God gives me what I need and I have asked in a sense why I'm not in abundance and it's because of um, God's efficiency you know and if I had abundance of money then I would I would waste it on things that I don't need <laughs> and God wants me to have just what I need so I can spend more time meditating probably. And um, I even, when I thought this, you know, I was sort of saying in my mind, you know, just thinking about this Jerusalem being the heart chakra, you know, think about all the ley lines coming into one centre. And I did have a quick look on the globe, and uh, interestingly, you know, from, if you draw a line, because I just thought Stonehenge and uh, Jerusalem, you know, that would be a line and if you draw that line from Jerusalem you come to Athens, Rome, I mean not exactly but pretty pretty damn close. Milan is quite close and Paris and Stonehenge. Um, anyway I was looking around the globe and obviously I you know I could do more with this have a look at these lines but it's more about sort of just seeing just the you know the realization how the whole time there's been this struggle for Jerusalem. Everybody wants it. And I'm going to say something that's very controversial. Like everyone's been fighting for it, you know. Um, Romans took it then, but before, before then, I don't know. Well, I mean, it was the promised land, wasn't it? So. <clears throat> But it must be something more than that. There must be a reason why. There must be a reason why. There must be something about it. Otherwise, everyone could just go. Oh, look, we'll, we'll just go to. We'll just go somewhere else, you know. Some other dry bit of desert. <laughs> so, and I've never been there. So, yeah. And if we draw a line down, you hit. You do hit Nairobi. You know, Nairobi's a. I've been there. I've been there. Nairobi is quite a special place, I think. Anyway, all of Africa is. But ley lines and things like that, you know, I think there is something to that. The ancients seem to know. Funnily enough, I forgot to draw a line from Cairo, but may maybe I'll look into that. I'm sure someone else has done. So, but, yeah, I, can, I could just feel it, like, with the planet. It's the heart, being the heart chakra of the earth, like, and anything going on there is a disturbance if it's not good and something good going on there could be good um, yeah and so you know and part you know I made a promise as well to God yeah I saw so I was like speaking to God well I'll go I'm quite happy to go to Israel I'm just like I'm not speaking what, so what happens, I, so I thought about what's God's order? What's God's order of things? What's the next thing? And I thought, no, well, what's the thing he's just done? And I thought, no, what's he doing now? What's God's doing now? And I kind of felt God, the Father, Father God up there, kind of looking down on, in his universe, his living planets and this living planet, the Earth. And um, just sort of, it's just, you know, a vision, if you like, you just 
popped into my mind sort of God pointing at the Middle East. And you know, the, the, the stuff going on there. So if that was God's right now, this is what I'm <laughs> thinking about. So then <clears throat> my thought goes on to things in the chakra and then you know because I've had a, a lot of thoughts before about should I go to Israel thinking who I am who I am and I've never had any major desire to do it I've yeah and the, uh, the controversial thing I will come on to I've never had any real desire to go there just thinking oh just go there because you know because that's you know, I didn't think there was any reason why that would be any different place to anywhere else, in a sense, not sort of massively. So it was that realisation, not full realisation, but that potential that that it is a special place, that it is this heart chakra of the planet. So the controversial thing. So everyone's been squabbling over this. Land, and specifically this city. It is more the city, isn't it? It is Jerusalem. More than anything else. So currently, you know, it's owned half and half. It's like the struggle is so tight. And so we go back to the Turks had it, World War I, the British took it all over. It was Palestine. And it doesn't seem like the British were too bothered, or were they? Um, and we had that Balfour Declaration that um, a Jew could could uh, start to sort of claim their rights to this place. So the controversial thing that I'm going to say is Hitler and the Nazis persecuted the Jews. They took all their gold and stuff like that, funded the war with them. Now... <laughs> So the controversial, so, right, it's apparently, it's, it's a terrible thing for anyone to say that the Holocaust didn't happen. You're called a Holocaust denier. But in a free speech world, can we not discuss it? I've seen pictures, they're disgusting. I've seen mountains of glasses and spectacles. And it is disgusting, it's terrible. But what I want to do is be a bit more open-minded. Just say, for instance, that there is a dark force wishing to uh, deceive people. For what ends? Now, let's just say... The Nazis, I mean, they were all into this Aryan thing, right? So what they want, utopia, maybe they recognise, they were quite clever, quite, you know, up to date on things. Maybe they recognised there was something with this Jerusalem, this heart chakra, this heart chakra of the planet. And they wanted a way in, and they're losing a war. So they start looking ahead to the next step. You know, the people at the top. Could they have planned this whole sort of atrocity in order to give them an in? I mean, Jews were settling in Israel anyway. So they've used the Jews, they've used the Jewish faith. So, and this, well, I, it's, okay, so it's a bit far-fetched. So what's my point with that anyway? <laughs> Just to say something controversial. Uh, perhaps I'm trying to put anyone off giving me a thousand pounds. Um... <laughs> Because <laughs> it would be scary. It would be a bit scary. I, I admit. I'd be, maybe what I'd be most scared of is failing. You know, just just go in there, walk up the Mount of Olives. Nothing's happened. 
Oh god, this is shit. <laughs> oh god, the diarrhea and uh, had a horrible few days. Come home. <laughs> what was the point of all that? Blah, 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 blah. Perhaps that's what I'd be mostly scared of. I just think there's something. Yeah, I think there's something a bit crooked about a state that claims that it's there by the rights of God. You know, the promised land stuff, the Zionism stuff. And yet they are so, I'll just say, militaristic. I mean, it just doesn't. It just doesn't weigh up in my head and, you know, why can't, you know. I mean, there were the people who were there first and, well, I don't know. But, you know, we need justice in this world. It needs to be fair. Every person has a right. So, um, I think with that... I'm going to ring off. Mm. Probably nothing will happen. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put a comment under the video um, just saying, you know, reply to this comment, say how much you would pledge, and when that adds up to a thousand pounds, I'll put a comment how you can. So, I don't know, PayPal, I guess. I don't know, or bank transfer or something. Yeah, that's simpler. And uh, when the thousand pounds is in, I'll uh, book tickets. And you can either have a good laugh or <laughs> help to save, to save the world. possible. It's possible. I mean, we could perhaps prove it one way or the not or the other, put an end to this. It'd be interesting, I think. So yeah, is this still filming? It is. Um, is there anything else I wanted to say about this? Doesn't seem like it. Check with love. Love saying, yeah, just do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get it on. Let's get this party started, baby. Bye.